What's up guys today's video is on the top 5 best pepper mills. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information, on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices, like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Starting at number 5, we have the Peugeot 23485 Paris U-Select 9-inch Pepper Mill. The Peugeot Paris U-Select won over our testers with its consistent grind, ease of use, and quality construction. Like many pepper mills, this one requires a funnel to fill. We used a coffee filter shaped like a cone that allowed the peppercorns to fall into the center shaft, which holds 1.2 ounces of peppercorn. Out of all the pepper mills we tested, the Peugeot Paris U-Select was the only one featuring a two-stage grinding mechanism. The case-hardened steel grinding mechanism first breaks open the peppercorns, then uniformly grinds them, yielding a very consistent grind every time. The grind size selector is on the base and requires a simple twist. We found selecting the grind size easy both with dry and wet hands. On each half rotation, the pepper mill dispensed a fraction of a teaspoon of pepper, giving the user precision in controlling the amount of pepper added. Our testers also appreciated the minimal pepper residue left behind after use, leaving less of a mess to clean up. Moving on at number 4, we have the Trudeau Black Seville Pepper Mill Wood. The top cap of the wooden Trudeau Seville 10-inch pepper mill is easy to remove, so it was a quick and easy task to fill it with a funnel. It holds a little over an ounce of peppercorns. Our testers with various hand sizes all found the top knob easy to turn, and it doesn't require much hand strength, making it a great choice for many users. From fine to semi-coarse, we found the carbon steel blades quickly and easily ground black peppercorns in various sizes. With that said, we could not achieve a true coarse grind with this mill. Like most top knob pepper mills, once you change grind sizes, it can be challenging to obtain the same grind size again. Yet, we discovered we could repeat grind sizes more readily if we twisted the knob one half turn at a time. At number 3, we have the Kitchen Go Pepper Grinder. The Kitchen Go Grinder is basic, with a glass peppercorn holder that screws onto a steel base containing a ceramic grinding mechanism. We appreciated the large opening of the glass jar, which makes filling it a bit easier than some of the taller and narrower models. The grind size adjuster is on the underside and produces a fine to semi-coarse grind, but the dial's design makes it trickier to replicate the same grind after changing the settings. This mill comes with a cap to cover the underside of the Kitchen Go grinder, which is great for catching any excess pepper that leaks out of the base. We found that this grinder is tough to use with greasy hands as they slipped on the glass jar. At number 2, we have the Fletcher's Mill Border Grill Salt Mill. Handcrafted in Maine, the Fletcher's Mill Border Grill Pepper Mill is made from solid cherry and has a much more modern look than many grinders on the market. Our testers appreciate that the entire grind mechanism is removable for easy cleaning. Thanks to its shape, the top knob design is easy to turn for both small and large hands. The Fletcher's Mill Grinder is easy to fill with a funnel that has the smallest peppercorn capacity of our test bunch. In a high-use kitchen, it will need more frequent refills. According to the manufacturer, its locking nut grind adjuster has 33 different grind sizes. We were not able to discern 33 different grind sizes but could find a variety ranging from fine to coarse. However, we were disappointed in how easily the finely ground pepper clumped when it came out. Once the grind size was set to coarse, we found it was not as simple as just twisting the locking nut back towards fine grind. To get back to a fine grind, we first needed to grind out the peppercorns in the grinding mechanism and twist the lock nut, repeating the process many times. And finally at number 1, we have the Cole & Mason Derwent Pepper Mill. The Cole & Mason Derwent grinder stands out as a more modern-looking pepper mill. It holds 1.8 ounces of peppercorns, making it one of the larger capacity pepper mills we tested. The top cap fits snugly and requires a pull straight up to remove and is best done when there is a minimal amount of peppercorns remaining, as the force of the pull can cause them to eject from the top. 
The preset grind size selector for the Cole and Mason is located on the base and locks into place with a firm twist. If you have limited dexterity or strength, this could be problematic. The knob is rather easy to grasp and twist for both large and small hands, and each rotation quickly grinds the peppercorns, producing a fair amount of pepper. Our testers did find the pepper tended to clump a bit as it came out on the finer grind settings, making it a little tricky to not over pepper eggs. We also noticed the peppercorns occasionally bound up in the grinding mechanism, making it more challenging to turn. Thanks for watching and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time.